Good day, everybody. So my dad is here with me today. We have been working on bees and he has developed some laryngitis and a cough. Uh, he has some phlegm and stuff in his lungs and he recently recovered from COVID pneumonia. He was in the hospital for a few weeks and it was very traumatic. Um, anyway, he has recovered, but he is now prone to pneumonia and, you know, coughs and, and things like that. So he has um, developed a bit of a cough and is coughing up phlegm and it has irritated his throat. So I am going to make him some homemade cough medicine today using some leftover Christmas candy. So come along for this and I will show you what we're doing. All right, so these are our ingredients. It's actually very simple. So first we have to melt all of our leftover Christmas candy. And it says to do 16 ounces of peppermint candy, but I just use whatever I have left over. Each one of these is three and a half. So we're looking at, you know, nine, 10, maybe 12 because this one is partly used. So I'm not sure how much we have, but it's, it's pretty close. So we're going to get that started and we're going to melt it in a few tablespoons of water. All right, so we've got the candy mostly melted. And it's a nice bubbly thick syrup. So we're gonna start adding the other ingredients. So we're gonna go ahead and add the honey and you need 32 ounces of honey. And this is honey from my dad's, which is going to make that perfect for him because the closer the honey is to you, the better it is for allergies and stuff. So if you can get honey within 10 miles, that's going to be the best honey for you. And then it's uh, eight ounces of lemon juice, which I don't think I even have eight ounces of lemon juice, but we're just going to use everything we got. Yeah, I can't get this one off. There we go. 
Get that stirred up. And then 16 ounces of whiskey, which this one is, uh, I believe, like 12 and a half ounces. And it can be any alcohol. It does not have to be whiskey. It can be bourbon, whatever. I am using wild turkey bourbon whiskey. And I chose to use that just because we have our turkeys. And it was not the cheapest, but it was not the most expensive either. All right. There we go. All right, so now we are just gonna simmer this. And you can add, we'll add some cinnamon. And a little bit of ginger. And that's it. We're just going to let it simmer. And just keep it stirred. Oh, buddy. That is potent, potent stuff. All right, so we are gonna bottle this up. these out inside all right so I'm gonna leave that off to let it cool all right everybody so this is it I'm gonna show you the bottles after they have been bottled up um, my dad has tried it. He said it's good. It feels great on his throat. And I have not been hearing him cough much. So I think this was a success. I hope you enjoyed this video. And I will post the recipe that I use. And I just use it loosely like I showed you. I don't always have all the ingredients. And it's great to make right around Christmas time when you can get the peppermint. But I will post that in the description box. So thanks for uh, hanging out with me today and I will see you on the next one. Have a great day.